Hi everyone, welcome back to another makeup tutorial video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all how to apply liquid foundation like a professional. Um, if you are new here, I've been a beauty therapist for 21 years and I've done many makeups also in that time for bridal makeup, special occasion. I've also trained with Bare Minerals makeup as well, so I'm very experienced when it comes to makeup. So today I'm just going to be sharing with you all the do's and don'ts when it comes to applying foundation like a liquid one like this. If you are new, to foundation you'll probably pick up some tips so i hope you all find it helpful if you're new here make sure you click subscribe and let's get into the video foundation i'm going to be using today in the tutorial is this one by bourgeois and it's their healthy mix foundation now i have used this for a long time and many many years it's a lovely foundation perfect for all skin types if you are new to foundation this one would be perfect are a bit older this is also perfect as well i'm actually 42 and i've been using this for many many years now I do love the effect it gives so it's very natural very glowy and it's not heavy coverage at all so if you are just getting into makeup this is perfect or if you've been using makeup for a long time and you're maybe looking for the perfect foundation for an older skin then this one is ideal and um, it's not going to be heavy cakey it's just super glowy and quite youthful and the shade that i'm using is light vanilla now the first tip i would say to you all is make sure that you do have something on your skin as a base your skin is a canvas for the foundation when it goes on never put foundation onto skin that doesn't have a moisture on it first or I don't usually wear a primer that's kind of one of those things where maybe for a special occasion like a wedding you could put a primer on underneath if you did want something very long lasting I don't have a primer on today because I'm just filming this tutorial for you and I do prefer a more natural um, foundation look on the skin. I do feel that healthy skin, natural skin, is actually best just to be enhanced with foundation as opposed to really covered up um, with a heavy makeup look. These are usually perfect for magazine covers, editorial looks and photo shoots, but usually day to day, we don't really need to wear a primer every day as long as you've got a lovely base on your skin like a good moisturizer my skin is more oily combination um, and i do sometimes get a little bit of dryness so it's going to be perfect if your skin is dry i'll also say go for something more moisturizing um, more glowy like this kind of foundation so first of all you want to make sure you've got the right shade when it comes to foundation as well as a lovely base on your skin of moisturizer beforehand so the color obviously make sure the color's right for your skin Usually when you're testing a foundation, um, you want to, I'm going to apply it with a brush today, which is usually a lovely way to ap apply foundation. You can obviously apply it with your hands as well. If you want, I could even do half of the face with the brush and then I'll show you half with my hands just to show you if you don't have a brush at home. Now to make sure the foundation is a perfect match for your skin before you go ahead and applying it to your full face, you want to just put a little bit of foundation on your hand and test a little bit first of all before putting it all over your face. Um, sometimes people could go for maybe too dark a foundation or something that's too light on their skin. So you just want to find something that's very much, it's very close to your own natural skin tone as much as possible so usually the best thing to do is just kind of usually starting about here just over the jaw and taking it down into the neckline and you really want something that's just going to disappear so you can't really see it so as you can see mine's is very um, mine's is the perfect one for my skin tone there's no dark obvious lines there that you can see that it's not the right match for my skin so that would be another tip make sure that obviously you use the right shade for your skin there are so many out there so you would maybe ask for a tester first um, if you're at a shop see if they've got a sample to use and then when it comes to actually putting it on your skin I would always say another tip another do would be start with less and build up so I would probably just start with about that much there so you don't want to put too much foundation on first and then think oh i've got too much on it's easier to build it up gradually rather than try and buff it off if you've applied too much at the one time so i'll just go ahead and i'll just show you this side first so again just about this amount here if you can see just about that amount there and, and as i'll apply the first side with a brush and then the second side with my hand so again, just start with a little amount. You always want to start in the middle of the face because the middle of the face is where you would need more coverage as opposed to on the outer side of the face. You're wanting to blend and obviously have it quite seamless here. Whereas most people need the majority of coverage on the center of their face. So usually you would just want to start round about the cheek area, just round about here. So you can see as I'm putting it down, I usually just start in the center of the face 
So don't start on the outside of the, pa the face, that would be a don't. I said, so just in the centre of the face, just applying it. If you are using a brush, these foundation brushes are quite good to use here. And yeah, you're just going to make sure that you're just sweeping it lightly towards the outer part of the face, but starting in the inside first. Go in if you feel that you need more coverage, if you feel that you need a little bit more. Just going to add a little bit more now just to make sure that I've actually, I'm quite happy with how much I've put on this bit here and this side, but just for obviously the chin and the forehead as well. So I would say take your time, do it in sections when it comes to your foundation as the base of your makeup. Your skin is the first thing people see when they look at you. So you don't want people looking at your skin if it's caked in makeup. You want it to be seamless and natural as possible and glowy as possible. So now I'm just going to go in and do the chin area. So like I said, I'll just do half. So you would then just apply it to the chin. I do have a few breakouts on my chin. So this is a nice one to just cover it up because it's a liquid foundation and it's more of a glowy finish you're not going to have that really heavy makeup look obviously I would still go in with concealer and conceal any redness or any spots but the most important thing when it comes to applying your foundation would be start in the center of the face like I said apply to the middle first and work your way out when you do get to the outside you can't always blend it down with a brush I would usually go in with like a, a fluffy brush like this um, once I've applied all of my makeup and then I would just make sure that there was no lines because there's nothing worse when you're looking at somebody and they've got makeup on and you can actually see the, the finish line here and it's completely different to their neck so you want something that just blends in completely seamlessly just going to put a little bit on the forehead now and just do that it'll be quite good just to compare with you and just show you and again starting in the middle working your way out um, just to show you the difference of it being applied a lot of people don't maybe use a brush when they are putting their foundation on if they're in a bit of a hurry um, I would say a lot of people you can use your hands as well hands is absolutely fine it does help the makeup melt in a lot quicker as well it blends seamlessly into your skin so I would say that's the first side done if you can see there so you can see this side is very glowy there's no dark lines under here on my neck area. It blends quite seamlessly. Super soft, super glowy, natural. Your foundation on your skin should really just enhance your natural skin. Sometimes a lot of people wear foundation like it's a mask and they put so much on and it can be really heavy to look at and really heavy on the skin. Whereas I would always say the most flattering um, foundation on the skin and makeup is usually just very natural, very light. You still want to see if your skin is generally in good condition. You want to be able to see your skin shine through the foundation. Whereas if you wear something that's super full coverage and really heavy, your skin doesn't actually shine through. It's just very... Um, it's almost like wearing a mask over your skin. You can't see your natural skin through. I'd say that's quite an important thing if you were wanting to go for a more natural makeup and I would always encourage that. I'm just going to do this side of the face now so you can see the difference. I'll go in and just use hands for the other side so you can see how that looks. And I've just put a little bit on my hand again. So... Obviously, when you're using your fingers, just make sure your hands are clean first so you're not applying any germs to your skin. Again, you want to start in the middle of the face and just take your time blending it out. But again, mostly spend the time just working it into the centre of the face first. And then you'll notice as I'm getting further out, there's not a lot of product or foundation there at all. And it just kind of melts seamlessly to the skin. Again, I'll just put some on the chin and just do this side for you. And again, just taking your time, blending it in. Blending is one of the most important tips I would say to take away. There's nothing worse if you've not blended your foundation in properly. Um, so just make sure that it's blended and very, again, seamless on the skin. This one is a lovely foundation. I can't recommend it enough. I've been using it for years and very affordable. And they've got a lot of lovely shades. And just on the forehead, in between the eyebrows, and just sweeping across, so it just blends in. And then I'll just put a little bit on the nose at this side. 
we do tend to get a lot of redness in our nose in the corner so I would say always spend a wee bit of time just nose which is where the redness can show. I wouldn't put, um, a don't that I would share with you is I wouldn't put foundation under the eye area because it can be very heavy and the skin under the eyes is only a quarter thickness to the skin on the rest of the face so that's why you can see that it can be quite transparent here because it's not as thick. So when it comes to under eye concealing, I would just go with something more, um, I would go with a concealer. So I'll just show you how I would apply the concealer as well. The one that I'm using on under the eyes is the Maybelline Eraser. And this is great. This one is just a nice texture. Foundation can look a wee bit heavy under the eyes um, applying there. So I usually wouldn't put it there at all. Like I said, I would just go in with a concealer. Just use a small amount and then just dab, if you can see there. And again, when you're putting any product under your eye, I did share a video on this for the eye cream that I'll link up here so you can check it out. You want to use your ring finger, which has the least amount of pressure and it's the most gentle one to use. You're not dragging the skin and you don't want any heavy product under the eye area. So something just very light is a lot better as opposed to like a heavy consistency. A heavy product, this one is perfect. So I would just gently just pat that into the skin under the eye avoid any foundation under the eyes also if the skin is a bit more dry under the eye area foundation can sit there and it can go quite dry and cakey so you wouldn't want that so something that's a bit more um, of a concealer and it's a lighter product you could use that under the eye area it'll give better coverage as well so anybody that does have dark circles it's just going to cover them perfectly as it's more of a concealer and again it's a lighter texture the look it's it's not as heavy as a foundation is and again if you want to do any concealing on the rest of your face just go over the foundation because foundation usually just gives you kind of a seamless but it's not really um your concealer is usually better on its own for coverage if you do have any spots or breakouts so i'll just show you obviously i've got a wee bit of redness here so i would just pat that on and just it'll just melt into the skin when it comes to the eyelids, another tip I would do is if you have a primer on there, that's fine. That'll be perfect for your eyeshadow. But if you don't have primer on, if it's just like an everyday um, foundation look that you're going for, a top tip to do is just brush a little bit of the foundation over your eyelids because your eyelids obviously can be a wee bit more of a kind of pinky tone if you can see that to the rest of the skin so it's not really for myself that mines are kind of pinky toned that'll just give it more of a matching base color to the foundation and the skin and the rest of your face so you just want it to all match up it will also give it a perfect base if you were putting any eyeshadow on as well um, just so everything matches in so you can do that if you have a brush like this it's always good at the end if you feel as if you just want to buff over just make it even more seamless in case you did maybe put a wee bit too much on any certain areas i would usually just buff this over the eyes as well and that's the finished foundation look so as you can see it's nice and light you can still see my skin through the foundation it's a nice natural one to use again the top tips to take away are always start in the middle first and work your way out only use a small amount of foundation to start with and build it up as you go along so you've not put too much on the skin and it's, it's obviously easier then to correct it if you build it up slowly also make sure that it's seamless towards the outside so i wouldn't go in with my foundation and start on the outside of the face because then you could end up with a line here you want to again just always start on the inside the most coverage here first and then just you know take away to the ends with whatever's left on the brush or what's left on your hand again take your time because your base is one of the most important things on your skin if you are doing your makeup you want it to look seamless you want it to just look like perfected skin i always think when it comes to foundation you want it to just look like your version of your most perfect skin so that's why i would always avoid anything too heavy anything too mattifying anything that is a kind of very heavy coverage foundation you just want it to look like you've got flawless skin but you can still see your skin shining through it so I hope you found that video helpful today. If you did, leave a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel. On here, I do share skincare tutorials, makeup tutorials, spas, also some vlogs and some clothing hauls as well. So if that's something that you like the sound of, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos. I will link the eye tutorial, eye cream tutorial below as well that I mentioned in the video and some of the other tutorials that I've done too that you can watch and check those out as well. I hope you enjoyed watching everybody and I'll see you all in the next video.